Okay, now we're gonna open the OWAP SAP application. <clears throat> For Mac, you might have to um, um, allow opening it because you download it from um, like open source. So go to security and then um, open SAP. Uh, when you open it the first time, it will ask if you want to persist the SAP session, meaning if you want to save the session. So um, here we're just going to be playing around with it, so we're not going to save it. Uh, but when you actually um, do the testing, you might want to save the session. So save what you have explored and stuff like that. So we're just going to choose no and click start. So in um, OWAP SAP, it has um, three main pane, three main windows. Um, the left window is gonna be um, the site um, that you, that the, the, the SAP scan have visited. And then this is like the main um, um, window where um, you configure uh, stuff um, and, and specify which um, web URL you want to scan. And this is like a result, like a, it's like a console, like there's history. Um, when you do scanning, it's gonna um, show um, the history um, that you have scanned. And then you can actually add more um, uh, control here. And we will be adding a couple um, when we do like more scanning. And um, so, the first thing that we can try is we can do like automate automated scan and here you can specify the web address of the um, the juice shop which is um, this okay, this this juice shop so we're just gonna we can just enter this here and then um, you can um, just attack what it does here is that it's going to go through um, all the links and click like on the, the um, browser and um, so it's going to do like scanning and um, if you see the tab, the, what we have saw, saw is spider. Um, another thing that it will do in automated scan is going to do active scan. So the spider is a passive scan. What it does is just, you know, scan um, just to, to see without touching. But for the active scan, what it does is that it try to do attack, meaning it may change some of the input and stuff like that. Um, so the active scan will take a lot longer to, to do. Um, but, but usually um, when you do automated scan, um, it starts from like the, the URL that you um, um, put it there. And if the URL here um, goes to, for example, if web, um, your app web application has a hundred um, page, but um, it only, um, the home page only accessible to 20 of them. Um, the automated scan can only go to those 20. It cannot go to the rest of, um, of the 80 pages that is not accessible from, from the first page here. So um, the more useful one is the manual scan. So we, we will take a look at the uh, manual scan in a bit. So um, uh, while the active scan is still running, we're going to take a look at a tab called alerts. The alerts tab will tell you um, the vulnerability that it found. It has like four different levels. The the red one, which is not here, the red one is the high um, high alert, but uh, the orange is the medium one. So let's take a look at the medium one. So if you take a look at the first one, this is medium, and um, the 
um, vulnerability that the OWASP have found is cross-domain misconfiguration. So this is the um, um, the course or the cross um, origin um, resource sharing that we have learned. Usually, um, when we specify course, we're gonna specify the resource that you allow. So you specifically uh, specify URL that you allow, right? But here, um, what it does is that it's use star. Star means you allow everything. So this is um, not uh, very secure. So, uh, but it's not like very um, high. This is medium. Uh, because what you you it may be okay for you to to go so it, it it's fine too so this is depends on your um your application but usually it should not be stored so it flat as medium so if you take a look this is like all medium and um next we're gonna uh, look at another one this is yellow so yellow is low this is cross domain javascript source file usually for the javascript source it should be in within the same domain right this is cross domain so um you you, you can do that if um this um um javascript is well known um but you know that's why it's flat as low so you you know he, he scan for you it's up to um your um application whether you want whether this is okay or not and in addition to the cross domain um the blue one is informational um it means that um it give um attacker some information some information about your your application here it said that suspicious comments so there are some comments that might give away something about your computer. Um, so uh, just um, just take a look and, and remove those comments. So um, this like suspicious comment. And um, timestamp disclosure, um, it give you some timestamp. Um, my, this is, it kind of hang a little bit, but so um, the, the timestamp, time um, uh, is like informational so if, if you can remove it you know please remove it um, so the active scan um, should finish um, but well we will well I, I think it's broken a little but uh, it's okay uh, anyway for um, the, the automated scan it's not very useful it would be best if we do like manual scan so in the next video, we will take a look at the manual scan.